Oh, crash landing. What the heck? I separated two of the females out. That's, um, that orange stuff is, uh, red palm oil. And I want them to have less light now because they were just making too many eggs and we lost our little Abby from, I don't know exactly, so if it were due to too many hours of light, I'm cutting back on their hours. I'm even thinking, this is the first winter I've ever had them inside and I don't have a lot of experience so I'm learning. And I think I might not even give them any light next winter. So I gave them a lot of hours and then I've cut back on their hours in the last couple of days. And I'm thinking I want I want them more than I want egg production. So I'm trying to give them a rest for the winter. Um there's two thoughts on this. Give them the lights, you'll get the eggs, but let them rest in the winter and you'll get them to last longer. But they really live about three years. Um, even males up to seven, I've heard. Since I haven't gone the distance, I don't know. Um, I'm thinking not to give them any light next, next winter, because I don't know what I've done long term by getting them to give eggs in the winter time. So for the last few days they've been on a lot less light and I might cut it even more. This is um, the 25th of uh, January 2017 so um, if I put them out in May in May is there's six months in and six months out because this is Canada and I don't have a way to heat anything outside plus I want to enjoy them they're my pets so look at that so adorable they have personalities and friendships and kind of arguments and stuff and uh, I wasn't sure if they got bumble from their... They make little donuts, right, that are kind of full of calcium, and when they dry, they're full of... They're like hard little rocks, so... I didn't just didn't know how often I should put new fresh leaves, and I was doing it every day that I did try it every two days and every three days, but then they trampled them in one day. So I'm thinking every one or two days. I have to make the leaves in the bags I have to last. You can see a bunch of bags there. And I now have gone back to the other water feeder because they were dripping too much water. Hey. Um, and I couldn't, my experiment, I couldn't keep up with keeping it dry even though I had something underneath it. So, yeah. Learning what's best for them. And two of them are separated out. Is it two or three? No, three. Just so that, see, I'm getting kind of a lot of eggs every day, so I'm trying to get less eggs. Isn't that right? And these are favored hens, so that there have been too, um, too many feathers pulled out the back of their head, so I'm letting them grow them back. And... I just put in, uh, this one here is Goldie and she's a little antsy because I just put her in about half an hour ago and she's, they've been standing on her and pulling the feathers up of her back and the back of her head and I'm trying to um, get her to take a rest and treat a little bit of bumble, uh, bumble foot and a little scab on her head where she had a nasal, um, they, she loves the sand. We sometimes give a little bit of diatomaceous earth, but they love a 
dust bath and she got clogged sinuses and I wasn't sure if it's because she wasn't getting enough um, vitamin A so I tried to give them more vitamin A and in the other cage they, some of them like it see that little orange that's also a little bit of palm oil and there's papaya there too so learning